um, besides the voice, the voiceless th, we also have the voiced th. What do we know about that one? Do we have a puff of? Do we have any air coming out when we no, say that no, sound? No, no, but we have vibration where? Yes, always starts here, and then where does it where does it travel? To your tongue. Okay, so I want you to feel the vibration. Just pretend you have put your 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 um, your cell phone on vibrate, and it goes. Right, that's the sound. Do you feel your tongue vibrating? Is this easier for you? Yes. If you remember to put your tongue in the right position, a little bit of your tongue, the tip of your tongue between the upper and lower teeth, and vibrate the tongue, then you'll make the sound very well. So look in your mirror, look in your mirror and, and say after me, this, 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 this that, 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 these, 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 these those, 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 the, the, or sometimes the, 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 the before a vowel sound like the end, the, the answer, and the before a consonant sound like the book and the teacher. Then, then, them, them, theirs, theirs, other, other. Further. Further. Okay, look at me, please. First sound is with F. Make sure you use your lower lip against your upper teeth. Make sure you have friction. That has air also. Put your hand here. Feel the, the air. You feel the air? It's not as strong as this. This air is, is much stronger because you have a canal over the top of your tongue for the TH, but for the you still feel some air, the friction and air. Now, look at the shape of my lips for the er sound. That E, that er, 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 very nice. We have two er sounds, one strong one and one weak one. Watch me. Further. Further. Good. Look at the shape of your lips. Further. Further. Very nice. Rather. Rather. Without. Without. This can be pronounced in two ways, either voiced without or voiceless without. Without. Which is easier for you to say? Without. Or without. Which is easier for you, voiced or voiceless? Voice. Okay, you're not wrong. You're lucky you have a choice and you can choose the easier one. But not all words are like that. Okay, let's try this one. With. with. Or with. with. And it depends on the context. If the following word is voiceless, with eggs, with eggs, with apples. Then we also, we usually make it voiced. Sorry, what did I just say? If the following word is vo <laughs> voiced, then we usually make the th sound voiced. Yeah, okay, so uh, we also use, if the next sound is voiceless, then we usually use the voiceless sound. Okay, so students with teachers, with teachers. So either way is fine, and usually, well, let me ask you, instead of telling you, is this a content word or is it a function word? The word with, is it function word or content word? Function. It's a function word. Okay, so normally do we say this with a lot of stress or is it reduced? reduced. It's reduced. So if the word is reduced, you don't spend much time on it anyway, so nobody pays attention, not so much attention. It's more important to get the big words, the content words, with a really correct pronunciation because that's where we hear the content of what you're trying to say. Okay, next word. Bathe. 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 Vibrate your tongue. Bathe. 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 Is this a verb or a noun? Uh, verb. Verb. Yeah. verb, right, yeah. to bathe, yeah. to bathe. bathe. All right, the baby is very young and you want to bathe the baby. You take the baby, baby you put in the in the bathtub. Okay, so the noun is bath. 
And this one, bath, bath. is voiceless. Bath. bath. And the verb is bath. bath. That's voiced. Okay, we have a lot of words where we have a pair like this. Bath, bath. is a noun. Bath, bath. is a verb. Breath. breath, take a big breath. breath. Take a deep breath. Okay, so breath is a noun, breath, and the verb is breathe. breathe. Vo vo we have voice sound, breathe. Breathe, breathe. breathe, deeply. breathe. breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. Take, take a deep breath. Okay, we also have teeth. These are my teeth. All right, so what about a baby? Before the baby... When the baby is born, the baby doesn't have any teeth, right? right? And then after, what, maybe how many months? Maybe six months, six about months. six months, then the baby starts teething. teething. All right, the baby starts to teeth. So teeth is a verb. Teeth. Why is the baby crying? Oh, she's teething. So her gums are painful. They hurt because the, the teeth are trying to erupt from the gums. So the baby's teething. Okay, I'll give her a teething ring, a cold, ice cold teething ring to, to, to chew on. Right, so that will uh, help to make it feel a little bit more comfortable. So we can say teeth as the verb and teeth as the noun. So we have several pairs like this. All right, now we also have some words that don't have this pair and this is the adjective smooth. 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 Voiced or voiceless? Voiced. 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 Smooth. smooth. Put your hand here. Feel it. Smooth. 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 Okay. And what do we call it when we mix a bunch of fruit and some ice? And then maybe sometimes we put some milk or ice cream smoothie. in it. What do we call that? Smoothie. Do we call it a smoothie or a smoothie? Smoothie. Smoothie voiced. It's a voiced sound because it's so smooth. You put in the, you chop up all the fruit, chunks of fruit, and then you put in a blender, and then you pour it into a glass, and you can drink it because it's nice and smooth. We call it a smoothie. Do you like smoothies? Raise your hand if you like smoothies. Woo! Everybody likes smoothies. Okay. All right. If you like smoothies, we can have some. Where's your? What's your favorite smoothie? Blueberry. Mango, pineapple, 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 what? Mango, Strawberry. Wow, oh, all the different kinds of fruit. All right, so good. I'm getting hungry just thinking about a smoothie. Okay, and the last word in our list is breathe. 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 Right, okay. Let's make some sentences with the sound mm. Some sentences. I'd rather go without them. I'd rather go without them. I'd rather go without them. I want to go by myself. I don't I, I, without them. Right. Okay, let's try this. There are other ways to bathe. There are other ways to bathe. Mirror? There are other ways to bathe. 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 All right, so how, what are some ways to bathe? Do you know different ways to bathe? How do you bathe? How do you bathe? Shower. You take a shower, okay, if you have water coming from above you, that's one way to bathe. What's another way to bathe? Jump into the water. Jump into water. Which water are you going to jump into? River. River. Okay, get in the river and bathe. Okay. What is another way to bathe? Jump in the ocean and bathe. Okay. What is another way? Dry. Which is one? Dry. Dry. How do you do that? You you use a sponge. That's sponge bathing. We call that to sponge bathe. Right. So if you're helping a patient who is incapable of bathing by himself. Then, if you're the caregiver, you use a sponge or a towel, and you wipe the body, and use a, like a basin of water, and rinse it out there, and then you bathe the, the, the patient. Could be a baby, it could be a middle-aged person, or it could be an old person, someone who cannot bathe 
by him or herself, then you you call that a sponge. To give somebody a sponge bath, bath. right? Bath is a noun. Or to bathe. bathe. Right. Okay. Bath. And um, have you heard about Japanese style bathing? No, that's a sleeping. <laughs> have you heard about Japanese? Do we have any Japanese students this time? Yeah, you soak in the okay, so you soak water. you soak in the hot water. First of all, you take a shower and wash, and then you go into the hot, 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 hot tub, and you bathe. And bathing is just sitting in the hot water like a hot tub, and you soak, and you enjoy, and you relax. And you let your body relax. Do you know that bathing in hot yeah. water can make you feel relaxed? Yeah. yeah. Do any of you like to bathe in a hot tub, in like a jacuzzi or hot tub? Any of you like to do that? Yes. Yeah? yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a hot tub? No. Hmm? No. No. Okay. Maybe I'll, I'll have a hot tub party someday. I'll invite you over to my house. <laughs> I don't have it on in the summer, but I like to put it on in the winter time and then run outside into the backyard and jump in there. So you want to come to my hot tub party yeah. and bathe? How many people can give you? Uh, probably, it depends on what size they are. Um, uh, four to six. It depends on what size. I really, I really mean that because the bigger you are, the more water you displace. We have a friend who is very large, very tall, you know, six, more than six feet, six feet three, good strong man. So when he joins us, then all the water goes out. <laughs> Not all of it, but some of it. It's kind of funny. So, um, yeah, and some countries, OK, do you bathe with your clothes on or off? OK, do you, do you bathe? Like when you shower, when you shower, do you bathe with your clothes on or off? Off. Off? Me too. I bathe with my clothes off. But in some countries, you bathe with your clothes on. Like if you're going out to the river? Yeah. If you go out to the river, are you going to all take off your clothes? No. And, well, some places they do. I tell you, in California, there's some places you can go where that's very popular. But in many, in many parts of the world, you don't take off all your clothes when you bathe in the river or the lake or the, or the waterfall. You have something to put around you, like a towel or sheet, and then you, <laughs> you wash underneath it, right? Because you're trying to be a little bit... Yeah. Okay, well, is this a good dress to bathe in, you know? Yeah, all right, so there, there are other ways to bathe than the way you bathe at home, right? Okay, now let's say this one, breathe. 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 Deeply. Deeply. Now, don't mix these two letters up because one is D, 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 and the other one is breathe. Z, z. Okay, so what's the difference? Z is this way, like here's my, this is my tongue, and here are my teeth, breathe, and this one, deep. So this one goes up on the gum ridge for D, D. Breathe deeply, Breathe and, deeply. Smoothly. and smoothly. Breathe deeply and smoothly. Breathe deeply and smoothly. Breathe deeply and smoothly. Okay, now let's introduce, uh, I'll introduce to you two people. This is their mother, and that's their father. 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 Very nice, very nice. 